Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comics to buy. New comic book day, April 3rd. Oh yeah, let's get to the video. Welcome back. I wish you all a happy Easter. I wanted to make sure to get this video out early in the morning for you guys on Easter or whatever, wherever you're watching from. So you could have time to, uh, you know, spend time with your family if that's something that you guys do. And if not, your friends. Um, yeah, it's important. <laughs> Every day that goes by, I start to realize how important it is and how close things are for... How close things are for um, to not being there anymore, you know, like, you know, with my mom and issues and a lot of things are starting to happen over here and you guys kind of been watching and knowing this. I've been talking about it. I talked to you guys. I mean, along with my old lady and stuff, but I tell you guys my life secrets and stuff. So, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that's happening and going to be happening soon. Um. I promise you that no matter what happens, um, I will attempt to make at least a couple of the main videos that you guys watch because you guys are my family too. And I feel like, you know, if I'm gone, then you lost me too. You know what I mean? So I don't know exactly what's happening right now, but uh, let me just say that um, spend time with your family while you can. And that's my uh, gift for you, I guess, for Easter. <laughs> um, and um, I hope you have a great day. So let's get to this special video. We do have the Lee Rogers giveaway. giveaway. Um, all you have to do is subscribe, make sure to comment and like, and you will get entered in every week. The prizes this week are this really cool Venom 18 Immortal Thor wraparound cover. I'm going to open it just to show you because I remember I love this cover. And it was cool that Lee found it in some back issues. Really cool. Really nice, actually. I don't see any issues with it. And um, also, this comic book sized mini print 40th anniversary at a Granov. Really cool. So you're gonna get a mini print and that cool wraparound cover uh, today. Um, so let's start. I, I got a chance to read everything, and uh, well, everything that I thought was important, which is a lot. <clears throat> and uh, I got some goodies for you, some little tidbits. You guys, if you're not watching the uh, the segue real quick, the top ten pre-order videos. I'm literally almost repeating myself three to four weeks later. So I know a lot of you, most of you watch this video over that. Uh, but preparing yourself and pre-ordering <laughs> a month before will save you the time. I, I mean, I want you to watch this video, but will save you the time and worry about watching this video and then calling your store and making sure you get to the store to get this book. When you could already pre-order it, it's, the pre-order top tens are very accurate, and I would I would ask you you should watch that next. Also, if you are pre-ordering from my store economicsandcomics.com, this is a weird weekend for pre-orders, and there are some big books. Uh, that being said, tonight is the last night, so make sure to get your pre-orders in now while you're sitting there eating Easter, whatever you eat, ham or whatever. Get those orders in. I know there was the Venom Anxiety book, uh, the Nick Fury book with the Punisher. Get Fury, that book. There's some couple good books. So Sorry to, to go talk to you all about that, but I wanted to make sure that uh, you realize that. Okay, so let's, let's show you some covers, some of my favorite covers for this upcoming new comic book day. Okay, let's start with Avengers number 12, the Stormbreaker variant. Birds of Prey, number eight, the Derek Chu. And the one in 25, Educure variant. Cinderella, Murder for All Seasons, cover B by Tarragona. Cover C by Drax. And cover D 
by Ivan Tao, our boy. Crave, number five, cover B by Love It. Edge of Spider-Verse, number one, second printing came out. I believe I still ha I ordered 100. I just have a still a couple left of that store. I think that character is real at my store. That character is really cool. And the 25 copy. Grim Universe Retailer Program, March 2024, the bronze cover. Guma, beginning of her number five, cover A by Ben Oliver. It's dope. Gunslinger Spawn, number 30, cover A. I like that cover. Mad Magazine, number 36, a second printing. Now, I didn't sell that book, uh, but I have two. I'll probably give away on Thursday uh, for the uh, live FOC show. Minor Threats, Fastest Way Down, number one, cover B by All Red, and cover C by Jones. Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars, Fax Edition Foil, number four. Sensational She-Hulk, number seven, the 25 copy David Nakayama. Shazam, number 10, cover D by Mercado is a foil. Star Wars 45, the Thrawn Rebels 10th anniversary cover. And the Luke Skywalker Ray Master Apprentice cover. Suicide Squad Kills Arkham Asylum number three cover B by Olivetti. And cover C by Hans. Those are the ones that come with the code for the game. Superman 78 The Metal Curtain number six cover C. I like that just because it reminds me of the old Superman movie. Out of all the re the tra the reprints for this Transformers number one, the fifth printing cover B, black and white ink one, is actually really nice. Transformers four, the second print cover A. Walking Dead number eighty six cover A by Finch, where he blows the head in the zombie. Pretty cool. Uh, X Men thirty three, the White Queen variant, and the Lee Garbit vampire. Okay. So I'm going to tell you about a couple notable number ones, honorable mentions, uh, real quick. A Kogan Brutalizer of Gods, number one. Hack Slash Kill Your Idols, one shot, cover A. Principles of Necromancy, number one. I need to read that. I don't have it yet. Red Sonia Empire Dam, number one, cover A by Middleton. Turtles Saturday Morning Adventure, April Special, number one. Turtles Source Book number two. And Usagi Yojimbo Crow number one, the 40 copy. Pretty cool looking. All right. I hope that you guys like, subscribe, and comment. I'm going to hit you with the top 10 for me. Number 10 is Neil Before Zod number four, the Lucio Perillo. That, the, the read is really badass guys it's a good read i mean it really is number nine is captain america number eight the cap ball shot variant um this was an interesting read because they from the last issue is weird there's like a new world you get to see this like new character something happens to cap in this um and it implicates stuff for the future um that might be coming that's what she said Wait, did I say number 10? So 10, 9, that was 9. Number 8 is Immortal Thor, number 9. Here's the regular cover, which is great. Uh, the Darbo cover. And the Vampire cover. Uh, this book talks about Roxen and the Rocks Dome and everything that's going to happen in that Thor Rocks book. Thor Roxen book. Uh, it's kind of weird, uh, but it's definitely a key. Before the Roxen book comes out. Number seven is Poison Ivy, number 21. Here's cover A. Here's cover B, the David Nakayama. And here's cover C, the Tar. This is an origin story, and it's good. It's pretty good. We see her get injected with the stuff to make her Poison Ivy. We see like her first arrest, what happens to her, Batman. It, oh, it has a feel of... Harley Adventures, or whatever that was before. But it's not. It's pretty good. Number six, Vengeance of Moon Knight. Number four. Finally, 
We find out who the new Moon Knight is. It is the Shroud, revealed last full page. It is the Shroud. I mean, he already appeared, but it, now we know who it is. I'm getting all these numbers messed up because I didn't write the numbers down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, okay. Number 5. Deadpool number 1. Here's a 25 copy Ryan Stegman, which I really like. I know I have extras of that, guys. Uh, In the Ugly Foil, great cover. And the Rob Liefeld cover. First appearance of Death's Grip. That's a character. He's cool. He's cool. Um, and you can tell he's going to hunt Deadpool. Deadpool takes that symbiote dog with him. And it's, it's, it's a good book. It's a good read. Um, and it's funny. And, of course, in the first full appearance. It should be good. All right. Number four is Spider-Man Shadow Green Goblin. Number one. Here's the 100 copy. Here's the 20 copy, uh, 25, 25 copy Maleve cover, which I think is dope. And the Mike Del Mundo, which is awesome. So, it talks about a character, Nels Van Ander, who has appeared before in the very long time ago, who is basically the prototype goblin. So, he's basically Norman's test subject. And he almost looks like, uh, what's a character's name from Street Fighter? It's like, a, I forgot his name. Damn it. You're all saying it. You're all going to say it in the text either. He looks like a, a red beast. You know, he did the circles and flips and he'd bang you. That's what she said. Uh, but it also does a lot with Peter's origin. Parker's. So it's an interesting read. Um, you find out more about this guy, Nels. And there's like a, they're implying at the end that Harry Osborn is Nell's wife's son. I, I don't know. It's got confusing at the end, but I don't know. Anyway, it was interesting. Okay. Number three is three books. And you guys, they were great. They were really good. I, I'll probably going to be picking them up all of them they were really good i suggest you pick them all up first of all geiger number one now we already know about geiger um because geiger's out already but it kind of continues a story about geiger and how the world ended and he's got like uh, radioactive powers and stuff and he's like in a wasteland and it's just really good and now red coat number one okay this guy is hilarious, dude. Dudes. Uh, he is a coward. Like, complete. He always runs. And he's basically a redcoat, right? From back in the day. The whatever. Uh, the redcoats are coming. The redcoats are coming. Whatever. He's always running from everybody. He hides in this place where, like, these this cult is doing an experiment on, like, Ben Franklin or something. And he gets in the way and he gets the rays from the science experiment or the devil or whatever it is. And basically he becomes immortal. <laughs> so he, he just constantly runs away, gets killed throughout time. He kills somebody, someone comes get revenge or something happens to him. He's constantly running and he's constantly dying. It ends up somewhere in the 1900s, I think. But it was pretty funny. It was pretty good. And Rook Exodus number one. Great Another great book. This is all part of the Ghost Machine thing, I believe. The new the new stuff from Image or whatever. Rook is like, the world ends, is about to end, and so they have to find another world. And so they ship all the people there to the other world. And basically, the world engine for that world fails. So the world they're at is ending. But people have different jobs, and they have these like helmets that can control different animals and stuff. Rook is like one of the last people left on the planet along with some other people that control different animals and stuff like that. And it is really cool. It was pretty cool. Redcoat was really funny. The other two are really sci-fi and cool. Or one's most post-apocalyptic, Geiger, and then Rook is more in the future. It's just, it's really, they're really well done. And they're nice quality books. Nice. All right. 
Number two is Venom. 32, here's the regular copy. Here's the 10 copy Caffey, which is cool because it's Carnage's Meritus. The Ken Glashley connecting. The 100 copy Besh. And the 25 copy Stegman, of course, the classic Venom with wings. So where we last left was Carnage killed Dylan and then went into like the void and now in this he's fighting all the different venoms um and he's winning uh but it's really good um and if the, venom saves dylan somehow brings dylan back from the dead i mean i, mean, I know they regenerate but sometimes when you, if you're gone too long you can't regenerate a dead body i don't know exactly how it happened but dylan's back and Venom's gone. Like, he doesn't want to bond with anyone anymore or something. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. But the story was really good. I mean, it's really starting to pick up. And I'm going to give number one again. To, it's all about a read for me. Uh, was Batman number 146. I'm just going to show you cover A. Fail safe, you guys, is Batman now. And it's really cool. Um, and it tells you... How so? There was a guy they, a couple issues back that trained the Joker. They trained Batman, also trained the Joker, right? So Joker hatched a plan how to get failsafe released, and they go over the whole origin of it and how. But when Penguin died, he faked his own death, right? But when Penguin died, the failsafe got released a long time ago, and um, and way back in the issues, maybe 10, 15 issues ago, I don't know. Um, and Pen the Joker planned it, the whole thing. Anyway, Batman tries to get his way out of this prison he's in, and Failsafe has now recruited Damien as a sidekick. Damien doesn't care. As long as the job gets done in you know, beating criminals, no matter what, it doesn't matter. Um, and so that's all going on. And it looks like Failsafe was constructing another robot that could be like the pl take the place of Damien as a robot sidekick. It was really interesting. It's a really good read. I hope you guys are reading Batman. It's it's been really great. Okay, let's get to the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway right here. Again, all you guys had to do was subscribe and comment and like, and you're entered in to win. I hope you guys have a great Easter. The winner is Matt Sec, a.k.a. Matt S. You won these. I want to say thanks to Lee for being so awesome and giving these prizes. And I want to say thanks for you guys for being here every week. And I will continue to try to be here every week, whether it's me or pictures or a voice or whatever it is. I will still be here for you guys, okay? So have a great weekend, get your pre-orders in, and I'll see you later.